Since there have been a number of requests made in purchasing software such as Camtasia for screen capturing and seeing that there are difficulties for some departments finding the funds for such, what I did was I decided to start searching to find applications that are free. For the longest time, those have not been accessible at all. However, with my luck, I did find some. In particular, I found this one that another faculty member has also confirmed is probably the best one of the list that I shared with him. And so I'm going to share this with you in this video. As a matter of fact, I'm using it to record this video. So the first thing I did was I looked up a video um, free or video editing software, which is what my first search was for. However, in the process of looking for it, I found one called Flash Integro. Which is also an editor, but it is a screen capture as well. When you get to their site, as we just did, you'll see that they have mentioned in their news soon Flash Integro announced a new version of their free video editor. It calls it a video editor, just like um, Windows Movie Maker. However, it also captures your screen. As you can see, the editor screen capture the screenshots over here to the side. It will do still images as well as a full blown uh, video, as we're doing right here. So I clicked on that, and that's for taking to this page where you can go and download the editor. When you download the editor, you have it. And so, what I'm going to show you instead of going through the process of downloading it, as obviously I've already done because I'm using it and I'm going to show you some things that are possible within. As you can see on the screen in the lower right hand corner I have this little box that comes along with to pause, stop, and I can also draw. So if I want to draw something on, on the screen here for my students to see, let's say for instance I want to point out something specific like a conversion tool, you must have this. Well, not that you do. It's just I'm trying to demonstrate the use of this. Or I can use rectangles to go around something telling them to make sure you download the editor or change the color of it for that matter. I want to say it's under look at the video effects, look what's possible. And when I'm done I, I click on stop drawing and they disappear. Now that that's to me that's kind of a um, drawback because you want those items to probably stay on your screen. However, I keep in mind this is free, so I'm not going to complain too much um, about what is what it does and does not do. And there are some other things that you can see on their website that are possible to download and look at, and they have their list of download items up here as well, and in their products. So they have free versions of some applications and they have some applications that are not free. So after you've done your recording, as we've done right here, I want to take it into a second application that is free as well. And that is something that you've probably heard of for years. And that is Windows Movie Maker. Now, I'm showing this to the majority of you that are using PCs because there are a lot of items out there that are possible for the Mac. However, there's, there hasn't been for a long time anything that runs very well on a PC. So <clears throat> I simply went to Google and typed in Windows Movie Maker. Version 7 is a, an amazing improvement over what we used to have in Windows Movie Maker. When all the way up to Windows XP and Vista, it was really a pretty bad program. Um, it would crash frequently, and so you'd have to start all over and so forth. And it didn't have the, the flexibility to do things that you necessarily wanted to do. However, this version is very user-friendly, quite intuitive for that matter. Uh, 
and at the same time it does it has not crashed crashed on me once <clears throat> so go here and select the download and it will come up with this item here it says WL setup hyphen web that means that that's going to be a very tiny file but it will when you click on it it will install Windows Movie Maker from the web versus from the application itself that application just pulls it from the internet so I'm going to minimize this and show you what Windows Movie Maker looks like there it is right in front of us Windows Movie Maker uh, let's go ahead and pull something into it such as a video that I've done in the past by clicking this and say let's do record number three and open it and it will show my recordings and what I've done it will show all the steps I can go in and I can cut out things that, where I may have said uh, too many times I may have said something that I thought well that's unnecessary so I'll cut it out keep in mind this like the one I just pulled in is 18 minutes research has shown that to hold on to people's attention the best is a 10 minute increments so if you have 30 minutes to show your students have three videos I go here and I want to look at the different options I have for animating which will be like say at the beginning I want to have an introduction to fade in or I want to fade, come in this way you can make it fancy or just simple. I personally go with the simple. That just makes it dissolve in. They call it blur through black. And then, if you would like, in your edits, or um, you can see there's a lot of options here. One of the first things I do is I add a title to it. So with my cursor here at the beginning, I click on title and I want to change it from something other than my movie let's change it to um, making a video not too much more exciting than my movie but um, I'm not very good at coming up with amazing impressive titles now making a movie or making a video let's uh, do a little bit of minor changes such as the color of the text um, actually white on black looks pretty good let's stick with that let's just raise the size of it 48 let's go with uh, 58 okay there a little bit bigger now what kind of effects do I want it to have when it comes in well that looks pretty cool that's interesting there well, let's stick with that one we're going to select this one and you'll make that the incoming when this is done and it says making a movie and of course you can put your name down here whatever you would like or the name of the course you click on the video itself which selects all of it as you can see and we want to make a transition so that it goes from the title to the actual video itself with the transition and as under animations it says transitions right here and you can scroll hitting this middle bar here just like you have in PowerPoint and Word you have the same items you can uh, same tool like appearance um, this one I think is none and this one will transition like that uh, the one that I personally go with is usually the crossfade which is like a dissolve and the dissolve effect will look like this so one disappears and fades out okay now when we're all done it's all said and done what we want to do is to we want to export this first step is to save the project as which we should have I should have done earlier anyway and I'll save it as my movie to replace the existing one yes okay and then we go to the last step which is to you can publish the movie 
So if you're doing it straight to YouTube, you can do that. And you already have your YouTube account, you know, logged in and so forth. Or you can say save movie and do whatever you want with it and it'll save it on your computer. Um, this one says recommended. It's this is a very high resolution, the recommended one. So it's very sharp. If there's anything on the screen students, students absolutely need to see, such as writing, that's the best pick. Burn a DVD, I would personally avoid. That's unnecessary unless you really have something real intensive and long detailed. For the high, high definition display, uh, such as um, both of these, this one and the recommended one, are high definition that you could show on a screen, a full screen in your classroom if you would like or you want your students to see it. Let's say that you're trying out the flipped classroom concept. So go with the recommendation recommended for this project and then it says, okay, well, what do you want to do? Say, so I want to name it um, Testing This Movie. And then when I hit save, it will say it's going to process it. And this will take some time, so I'm going to pretty much stop it at this stop this video at this point. And I hope that you find this very useful. I did go over my time ten minute limit that I try to stay within. I'm at eleven and a half, so I'll stop here. Again, I hope you find this useful. Have a good one.